Bienvenue à Comment gagner de l'argent et comment créer une entreprise et augmenter vos revenus avec Glendon Cameron. What's going on, people? I've got this question about my consulting services. And I realized I've always talked about clients and the typically people have found me and just said, hey, you know, could you help me with this? Could you help me with this? And it just started off as an email. I didn't really put together the consulting service the way that I'm about to. So essentially, just to give you foundation, to let you know where I am going with this. I got my start here on YouTube and really in the world of business due to reselling. But it was started off with selling new stuff. Then actually, I got into selling new stuff because the profit margins were just so much better. They're immeasurably better across the board. But I've come across, right, what are you doing? I've uh, come across new methods of building businesses. If you need help with your resale business, I am in the position of strategy. If you're like, hey, how to start a YouTube channel, um, how to start, well, actually, let me step back. Hey, how to start an Amazon account. Hey, how to sell more stuff on eBay. I am a strategist. I can help you on, I can help a top level person quicker than I can help someone brand new because eBay has made so many changes It makes it really rough on the new seller. Really, really rough. And then, also, I don't sell on eBay. And I don't really directly sell on Amazon. I have some books and stuff on Amazon and Kindle. But that's really different. I can help you put together a bigger strategy if you're already making money. One of my clients is doing half a million a year between eBay and Amazon. And we're able to craft some strategies where They're a trending or they're going to add another 200,000 this year. Because what, this is the thing with eBay and Amazon. You, you got to understand. It's very, very hard to continue to scale. You'll get to seven figures if, you, if you're really good. Because everyone's not even going to get to that. And then you're going to run into some problems. You're going to run into a lot of problems. Your fees are going to go up. And then you're going to start asking yourself. Because when you look at your fees. And because at one point. You know, when we did sell on eBay, our fees were more than our rent. They were more than store. I mean, their fees were huge. Six, 12. I remember the worst month was 22 grand. That was eBay fees. $22,000. So when you start looking at those kind of numbers, it's like, well, this could build something. Which leads me to the next point. I'm about helping people mid migrate their business to their own platform. You always hear, well, you know, you go to eBay and Amazon because that's where the traffic is. Uh, I don't have it because I'm driving, but I bought this razor from, uh, God, I can't even remember it right now, but it's, it's <laughs> I'll put a link if I remember. But essentially, I shop off of a lot of different websites for different things. If it's something that's very common, or if it's something that's really, hold on, let's see if that will uh, turn the sun down. There we go. I shop a lot of different websites for all kinds of stuff. And the thing is, going back to the presumptive knowledge is that's where the traffic is and that's where you can sell stuff. If that is your mindset, then that is going to be your reality. I don't even have a website. That, I don't have a website right now. Uh, that's I sell stuff. I have hustlersfood.com. That's it. I spend most of my time on the actions of creating products and selling products. And I don't have a website. I'm creating my own traffic, which is where the strategy goes. Like if you're new to hustling, and you are not really, really, you haven't done anything. Like, so you haven't gone through the eBay thing and you haven't gone through the Amazon thing. Then, you know, the conversation is going to be very, very challenging. You're going to spend a lot of money and not feel like you get a lot of benefit. If you are a seasoned business person 
L3, four, five, six years, your gross monthly revenues are 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 100,000. Okay, then we're going to have a different conversation because there are certain things that we're not going to have to talk about anymore because you've been through them. You've, you've been through all of that stuff. You have uh, built your business. You have gone up and down. You've been screwed the time and two by eBay or Amazon. So you're a seasoned business person. And your questions will be different. Your needs and wants will be different because typically a lot of people top out at around 10, 15 grand a month on uh, eBay and Amazon because of infrastructure problems. It's not so much. Like I said, you can scale up to six figures, seven figures. It's very doable on both platforms. But you're going to have some issues. And this, is, and this is how I run my business. I actually have new books coming out. And they're going to come to you through my system before they go on Amazon. And also, we'll tell you what's going to happen with that. Everyone that comes into the G-verse, you're going to get way more love than what's going to happen with the books on Amazon because I struggled with it. And like I said, I don't hate Amazon. It's their business. They created their business model. But I don't like certain things. And it's like, well, if you don't like it, what are you gonna do about it? So this is the plan. The books and courses you get from me are gonna be the, the best deal. I'm gonna create a separate set of products for Amazon that will not be as robust. Essentially to give people what they want for that price point because at that point, I don't feel like Boo Boo the Fool for putting my heart and energy into something and then someone wants this for $3.99, $4.99, $5.99 when I know I could get more. And that is one of the things because Amazon, if you're selling Kindle books, they punish you if you sell your book for, and you know I need to do some research because like I said, I didn't put anything on Kindle in over a year, $9.99, you go up to, if it's over $9.99, they only, you only get 35% which means you can sell a book for $20 and make less money than if you sold it for $9.99. <laughs> it's really heavy handed, but I was like, I didn't like it, so I'm not playing in that sandbox, which leads me to another thing. If there's something you don't like about Amazon and eBay, you have an option to do something about it. You can get off the platform or you can stay on the platform and you can create new streams of income because there are some people who are Amazon heavy and they are eBay heavy, which, well, what does that mean? It means if Amazon and eBay says, fuck you tomorrow, you, you're not making any more money. Your rent's not gonna get paid. Your mortgage is not gonna get paid. Your car, you are out of luck. And I was, we were eBay heavy, and this is one of the reasons I have my philosophies about eBay. And boy, if we didn't have Craigslist, we would have been out of business. That's how bad it was. If we did not have Craigslist, because the first time the big slap happened, we had the warehouse. And man, I was able to create some ads, drop prices, and have massive sales. And it actually taught me a new business method. But if we didn't have other sources of income, I mean large, not you know a 10%, but we were able to, within six weeks, replace the eBay income which many of you, you can't do that. I mean, like my video that I put up, and actually like three of them talking about eBay, every day, one of those videos gets a comment, hey, eBay shut my account down. I went through this, I went through this, every day. And I mean, I got this really sad letter from this lady, you know, she was doing eBay, uh, she had a job, but eBay was her part-time job, and that job was the difference between paying the rent buying food and not and it was to and you know i can't say what she did or what she didn't do but i know that it's very very easy to get booted off ebay and amazon it's not like it takes a lot so essentially for my business services and you know giving you this foundation i'm going along with this my whole thing is to help you build alternative income streams outside of amazon outside of ebay uh, to me, and this is just my opinion, if you have the ability to create a product and go to Etsy, you're going to do better because of the pricing structure and the fee structure. You're just going to do better because 
I see so many people in this and people there are videos here on YouTube about you know yeah they sell twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff on eBay thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff but after fees product costs they, they made a net profit of four grand or five grand I want you to think about that you you sell twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff and your net profit is like four grand that's a lot of pitfall to me what I mean by pitfall there are so many things that can happen that can knock that four grand down to three or two uh, high return rate uh, change of policy new com there's that is a scary margin also if you have Amazon eBay I'm gonna give you some advice here you want to get eBay down to 33 percent you want to get Amazon up to 33 percent and you want to have your own channel some that you 100 percent control and get that to 33 percent so if something because something's not going to happen to all of them so if you're at 33 and a third on across the board or even better 25 percent you've got four channels you you're in good shape you're in good shape because if something happens to one you still have 75 percent of your money coming in and that's one of the things and that, that's what my consulting business strategy thing is predicated on also everyone that i talk to my question to them is what kind of life do you want to have because business owners typically go for the business and the money and then the lifestyle after you can actually envision the lifestyle first and build your business around that lifestyle I read about a couple that did that and it was a bread company in ink years ago and at that time it was like Ooh, you know this is kind of weird when really it's the proper way to do it because you can build yourself into slave ship I know there's a lot of business owners who they won't admit it because you know it's like I'm the business owner but they're really slaves to their business they can't go anywhere they can't do what they want to do they're essentially shackled to their business and there are ways to get away from that I think that is the high appeal of Amazon FBA because if you do it strictly online and you can you buy stuff online you ship it to Amazon you never touch freight you can be anywhere and make money and that you know that's a beautiful thing but that's what I'm gonna do and under this video I'll put some more details and stuff because I'm getting a lot of people saying hey you know what about your consultant services how do I get in and I'll work on that but essentially just know my intent would be to help you craft and create income online offline outside of these platforms because that's what I do like I said, I haven't put any of my new stuff anywhere. And nothing's been on, like I said, Kindle. Like it's been over a year or longer. Um, and eventually, products, and this, this is the beauty about it. And what you think about this. You have the ability to create products for different audiences. Say you have this widget that appeals to redheads. Just saying it. Well, and the redheads, they really like it. And they, you know if you change their widget to blondes, the redheads are going to revolt, right? Well, what you do is you create a special widget for blondes. So you keep your redheads, you you get your blondes, then you're like, hey, all right, I'm going to get some brunettes, and you create something for them. Because each thing's just a little bit different, but that is the power of doing it. And like I said, I, I'm a, not a hater of platforms. I just know that when you really start stroking it out, you're going to start seeing these issues that I'm talking about. You know, it's, it's going to become very, very clear to you what I'm talking about. If these issues aren't cropping up in your life, you, your volume, and when I say volume, you haven't hit six figures in a month. You hit six figures in a month on these platforms, you will start to feel some of these issues. You will see what I'm talking about. It will not be just like, oh, you know, he's just, oh, shit. And there's some of you already know. There's some of you already know. Because one thing I see is... Everyone is playing follow the follower. I'm doing eBay. I'm doing Amazon FBA. There's very few people who are saying, hey, I am creating some shit from scratch. Because the adage is, don't uh, recreate the wheel, learn from other people. And I agree with that. But I want to add something else to it. Learn from other people's mistakes and make your own mistakes. Now, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I want you to hear me out. If you're learning from other people's mistakes and you're making your own mistakes, you're getting two lessons. You're increasing your knowledge base twice as fast. And when you do that, you increase your experience rate four times as fast. 
which makes you more valuable, which may, and then at some point you'll start to see trends and you'll start to connect dots and things will become very, very clear to you on why this isn't working and why is this working and what happened with this and oh, now that makes sense. It just gives you a better framework to make decisions for your business because we, are, we live in a disruptive world and Amazon and eBay are gonna become even more disruptive because this is my prediction, five to seven years from now, more people than ever will find themselves without suitable unemployment due to the advances of technology, outsourcing, uh, international competition. There's, there's a ton of reasons this is gonna happen. And if you are not in the business of building a business for yourself and your family, you're gonna live to regret it because this is coming. I've been on YouTube since 2009 and just the changes here, and they're gonna continue. This, this is not gonna stop. This is gonna continue. The changes here are gonna to continue to grow. Now, that's one of the reasons uh, I put my video up why you should start a business. That's something I'm real passionate about this. And another thing is, this is what liberated me. This is what liberated me. If I did not have my own business, there was a time in my life I would have been totally fucked because of some personal circumstances that was happening with family. I would have been totally fucked. I would have had one of those situations, and some of you are experiencing this now. You go home, life is horrible. You go to work, life is horrible. You, there, there's no escape for you. There is none. But since I had my own business, I had an escape. I had a place to go that I was like, well, this shit's not coming here. I didn't have to worry about it. And that you create, and it's hard work. I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit you and go, well, you know, it's really, no. It could be some of the hardest work you've ever done in your life. It could be one of the hardest things you've ever done in your life. It could stress you out. You could fail. I failed five times, which is really interesting because all of those failures has given me, what did I say about increasing your experience level, your knowledge base? I can talk to people, and it's very rare, they'll ask me something, and I'll say, well, I don't know. And I'll say it, I don't know. Like, uh, someone asked me about affiliate marketing. I don't do affiliate marketing, so I don't know about affiliate marketing. I, I don't do websites and AdSense, so I don't really know a lot about websites and AdSense. That's not my level of expertise, and I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know anything about that. And I don't know, because I'm about creating products and building stuff, because every time that I look out into the business landscape, I see it so often. Someone created a product or service, then four years to 20 years later, they're this, they're, they've made multiple millions or billions. Four to 20 years, four to 20 years, I keep seeing that. Uh, four years as being a typical, it doesn't happen. But can you imagine if you start a business today, it's 2014, it's May 2014, May 2020, you're sitting in your office looking at your bank account and you, when you think about your life in terms of building something, being an owner, actually owning some stuff, some stuff that is yours, something that you built from your own intellect, crafted from your own hands, the uh, sense of pride, the level of self-esteem, you can't, you can't beat that. You can't beat that because I'm telling you what I have seen, and this is something else that I will talk about. I've studied businesses since I was in high school. I used to read Inc. Magazine, uh, Entrepreneur, and I would just read all these stories of people who built these businesses and how it literally changed their lives. And that's the power of building the business. And there's a lot of re repetition in this video because some people just don't get it. They're like, uh, after I put this video up, I'm like, hey, help me build my eBay business. And, you know, like I said, I can help you to a degree, but I am all about building your own products, crafting your own service, because this is another thing, and I'll give you the breakdown. Say you craft a digital product. Okay, you know, just say you're brand new to eBay. I want you to do this. Ooh, that was pretty. Um, Ferrari. I want you to do this. Say you make two, three, four hundred bucks on eBay, right? 
take something that you're really good at. Uh, you might be good at baking cookies. You might be good at dog walking. Dedicate the same amount of time that you dedicate to eBay to your own business, a service business, whatever, and see which makes you the most money. <laughs> Just see. Just do it for a month and see which one makes you the most money. You will be shocked. I have someone that, um, one of my clients, we have fought about this for the last uh, two months and he's married and his wife makes these crafts and stuff. And I was like, well, you know, put your wife on the call next time. And you know, now this is where it gets real slick. She did everything that I was telling him to do. And she made more money in her business the first month than he made in his business, which he's had for a year. And now he's a believer. Because one thing that I've come to understand is unless people see it and feel it, it it's it's like the Yeti or Bigfoot. I think that's the same thing. Or, or the Loch Ness Monster or Space Aliens. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Little green man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigfoot in the woods. Yeah. But when you see that motherfucker, you're like, okay, I believe. And that's where a lot of people are. Because of social conditioning and the construct of the only legitimate way to earn money is to go work for someone. That is the reality and mindset of many, many people. And when you go counter to that mindset, you actually insult tribal and culture beliefs. That's why they get so... Uh, hot and bothered by it because you're touching some tender tender parts you are hitting on some things that are really really important to that person and you're creating a mental conflict and it is really really it messes people up that's why you get someone who's like really successful with a business and their family shits on them uh, we were actually talking about that in a group the other day and it was just this one guy was like his father was on him until he finally he saw one of the checks he, had di he was doing this new project and his dad saw the deposit check and he said my lord I don't make that much in a year and then and he said well, what is this for a year he said no just for a month at that point dad became a believer they have to see it but the other side of this and I advise all my clients keep your success to yourself for a little bit just keep it to yourself because once you it is known <laughs> that you're doing well, <laughs> you have another set of issues, bigger set of issues, very very big. But that that is the thing. A lot of times people have to see it to believe it. They have to touch, taste, and have and be tantalized by it before it becomes real for them. Whereas it's very real for you because you're doing it. You're, you're seeing it. So. These are just some of the things, and uh, this is the way that I'm taking my groups. I'll, you know, I'll put, you know, Hustle University. If you, everyone can join. Quick hustles, and a hustle is anything that can make money very quickly, but it's not typically going to turn into a business. Now, what is the difference between a hustle and a business? Really, really quick. Some a hustle doesn't. A hustle makes you money, but a business makes you money when you sleep a hustle makes you money fast and some hustles not most some hustles can turn into businesses but you know if you have a business when you can walk away for six months and the income still comes in that's when you have a business when you can walk away for six months I didn't when I uh, did my first book and uh, my partner died it was like a six month period I was very very depressed I ain't really do shit uh, it took me a lot <laughs> to make videos in fact that's the only thing I did I did a video like once one a week or two a week you know if you search you'll see there's like the videos were only coming out once a week or whatever and sometimes I'll do four in a day and I wouldn't do anything for a month my income grew because I had created a business and you know it wasn't like long term there uh, that's why I said six months because after six months actually that went on for a year that went on for a year but I started working after six months again when you can create those kind of income streams that are not dependent upon you being present being showing up all the time working to sweat drips off your brow when you create that that's that's when you have a business and another thing about those kind of things is you can sell those later on in life 
you know, you have a really successful business with a great cash sheet, uh, say it's unique or complimentary or somebody who has another business or even a competitor who wants your ass out of there or wants your customers, you can sell that. You can make money for years and decades even and then turn around and cash out even on a larger level. You can't do that with a hustle. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, I got uh, I got 100,000 feedback on eBay. And uh, so <laughs> any seasoned person who's buying a business will be like, so. But if you go ahead and like, I got 100,000 emails in my customer database, got 80,000 credit cards. Really? It's a different ball game. Totally different ball game at that level. Just some uh, food for you to think about, some things for you to chew on, and uh, I'll see you on the good side.